Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla podcast. Well, I was about to go to sleep actually, but all of a sudden I was inundated with uh, messages left and right from some of my fellow YouTube fans out there. And again, thank you so much everybody for continuing to send me notices anytime there's any kind of alert happening. Uh, most of the time I catch these things ahead of time, but every now and then something slips in. Thank you so much again for ensuring that I'm kept up to date on pretty much all things. And that's why I do this for y'all, because I want to make sure that those of you that alert me, I'll share the news with everybody, and then that way we'll pass it along. Now, the breaking news, the big, big news, is that it looks like we finally, finally, finally have the final Godzilla 2014 design revealed. And... I say uh, it, 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 that this happened because unless, you know, this is something else that hasn't happened anywhere uh, in terms of any other licensee expo, I don't know. This looks like this is legit. This is the final result. Uh, apparently, just right now, a licensing expo occurred in Sao Paulo, and there, somebody took a snapshot picture of what looks to be the final Godzilla 2014 design. We're talking the full face, everything. And these things tend to happen at licensing expos because you have these places these places that essentially hawk their products and services to potential manufacturers. Uh, movies, uh, of course, love doing this because this is where they partner with so many other brands that are out there from toys to sneakers to t-shirts to backpacks, whatever, everything out there in the world. Perfect opportunity to license and get together popular brands. And with this, it looks like we have the Godzilla 2014 face finally revealed. Now, I will not post the picture here, nor will I post any links to the picture. I've learned my lesson. Uh, Legendary Pictures and Warner Brothers, they are watching my videos like a hawk. Um, The minute I do something as far as posting any official links or any official pictures, uh, it will be taken down, and that will be it for my YouTube channel. So, but just look up in anything anywhere in the internet. Um, go to Google, go to Bing, type in Godzilla Face Revealed. It'll be one of the first few searches. In fact, go ahead and do it right now, and then that way, when you have the image up, what we can do is let's go ahead and let's talk about the image together. So I'll give everybody a few moments to just uh, find the image, and I'll just wait here. All right, now that you've unpaused the video, let's go ahead and let's talk about it. Quite a reveal, isn't it? Um, It looks like Godzilla, but it looks like something we've never seen before Godzilla. The instant metaphor that I come with is that it is human-like. It is something that looks far more human expression-like than we've ever seen anything else before. And the biggest thing has to do with the eyes. There's just something about the eyes that look so... I guess, not lifelike, but like they can contain the most expression we've ever seen within any other Godzilla film. There's just something uh, about those eyes that makes me think that sure enough we're going to see Godzilla uh, have the ability to scowl, to look mad, maybe look surprised, uh, maybe do a lot of things that we haven't seen him before do in other films. But there's something far more human-like. I can't put my button on it right now, but it just seems like if you were to morph a human face with most of Godzilla's face that's what this looks like to me and sure enough the neck follows the design ever since the first teaser was released about a year or so ago that showcases the big fat neck this is the same type of neck again but now of course we see everything and then look at the ridges that are on the side of Godzilla's face it follows the very very brief glimpse that we saw uh, with regards to the Godzilla experience at the San Diego Comic Con those few images when the lightning when Godzilla was walking past the window and the lightning lit his side profile up we saw some ridges that would follow the side of Godzilla's neck towards the top of his face and sure enough they show up here so again this leads credence that yes this is truly the final design on there. The snout, the snout looks smaller than some of the other past incarnations, but it still maintains the same 
Godzilla silhouette, the same Godzilla shape. But again, the biggest, biggest change has to do with those eyes. The uh, past eyes, of course, having to do with a man in suit. Like you could only go so far in terms of the eyes and how much they could move and what they what kind of facial expressions they have but these eyes again just based on this illustration and it does look like an illustration it does not look like something like an actual cgi shot but more like a carefully uh i guess illustrated uh, item for marketing purposes but with the cgi th that's going to be involved within the film we finally have a godzilla that, that will be the most lifelike ever uh, everybody remember that there was uh, that brief uh, clip that took over YouTube a couple of years back where Godzilla made a cameo in some Japanese film uh, where the, some guy whose hair suddenly turned like Goku was staring off in the distance and then the camera zoomed into the middle of a city full of destruction and Godzilla was there made of pure CGI. We just got brief, brief glimpses of Godzilla's face and some facial inspections. Now it looks like with regards to this design, we're going to see the best Godzilla incarnation possible. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the design. It looks, it, it surpasses everything that I thought it would be while still paying homage to the old Godzilla design. So Toho and Legendary Pictures and Warner Brothers uh, it looks like they all collaborated to get it to ensure that the, they, they nothing like the Godzilla 1998 film occurred again, and instead we have something again that pays respect to the old while creating something new altogether. Uh, the dorsal fins, it looks like that has stayed. Maybe they provided even more dorsal fins than before, but the dorsal fins look like the classic dorsal fins from any other Godzilla film. But again, it looks like this is it, folks. We have the final design for the Godzilla film. Let me know what you think. Post your comments below. Do you like it? Do you feel it's okay? Do you hate it? I mean, post your comments. Share them with everybody. And let's see where this goes forward. So, Thank you, as always, everybody. Take care.